Hello everyone, Louis here from Quickly. I'm very excited to present the first installment of our WooCommerce integration, available in Quickly 1.2.9. As with every Quickly release, our focus is to allow you maximum design freedom while giving you all the necessary tools for the ultimate no-code experience. This new update introduces the most important features for your WooCommerce store, such as variable swatches and cart context, working in tandem with our existing filter block, tooltips, queries, and repeaters. You will now be able to design and ship an archive and single product page completely within Quickly, while offering a unique WooCommerce experience with a mini cart that appears in a modal or a popover. So let's take a quick look. Here I am in my shop archive where all my products are displayed. This is a simple query block with a repeater block using a dynamic slider for images, a heading and a few paragraphs for the title, prices and add to cart. It's all rather simple. You can also see my mini cart. I can access it by hovering over it. You can also modify this behavior on the back end if you are familiar with our popover block. But also, the same behavior can be applied to the modal block. Some of these products are variable, external, grouped, or simply simple. The variable items come with their respective swatches that allow you to choose the color, size, or whatever attribute you want to set for the particular item. These variable swatches are created and designed with Quickly. You don't need any extra plugin to struggle with. While we have designed this page to allow users to add variable products to the cart directly, you can also choose to simply redirect your users to the single product page for a different experience. As you can see, some of my items are on sale with a percentage that appears if necessary, as well as the trending and out-of-stock badges. Once again, these elements are created in Quickly and are simple blocks such as headings and paragraphs that have a visibility condition attached to make them appear when necessary. As you can tell, choosing a different variation will modify the info accordingly. By the way, you'll notice that disabled items and selected items have been styled in Quickly. I like the look of this product. Let's add it to my cart. A loading animation appears to let you know that it is loading and added. This is all made in Quickly using specific classes that are added to my Add to Cart element. Of course, you can have some text appear instead of the loading icon I have. It's all up to you. Let's add another product to the cart which appears automatically depending on your settings. This particular cart disappears after a certain length of time, but you can choose to keep it open or not open it at all. Now, let's take a closer look at my cart. As usual with Quickly, there is no fixed structure to limit and frustrate. This cart was created from scratch using standard Quickly blocks. The only requirement is having a Quickly Div block with context set to cart. It is highly dynamic. You can change the quantity of the items or remove them altogether from your cart without a single page refresh. All of the data changes immediately in tandem with server information. Let's take a closer look at a single product page. By the way, I created a custom template and set the visibility conditions in the Quickly Themer to show if, singular, products, or. Structure-wise, I have a columns block, 
a repeater set as a dynamic slider for the Woo Gallery. On the right, I have a heading, a few paragraphs, and a button, all of which have dynamic content as well as visibility conditions. Depending on the product type, you'll notice different elements that are required before adding to the cart. In this instance, I'm on a variable product that requires me to select specific swatches. But on a grouped product, you'll notice that I can choose which products and how many of them are added to my cart. For a simple product and external product, nothing is necessary. Before we go on, let's take a quick look at how our variable swatches are built. In Quickly, Swatches are displayed within a repeater block so that the structure and blocks are repeated as many times as attributes are necessary. Quickly allows you to target global attribute types which are select, button, color and image. But you can also be specific by targeting particular attributes that require special styling. In most cases, you'll want to style global attribute types. Before we proceed, Let's make sure to set our dynamic preview to a product that supports all the attribute types we want to style. For this overview, we'll be building the color swatch. Let's add a div inside the repeater. Let's center it and set space between its children. Let's add a paragraph block with the dynamic content value set to variation label. Next, add a new div inside the repeater block, which will act as a container for all variable swatch blocks. Set direction to flex and column gap to 5 pixels. Let's now add a swatch block and set the attribute to color. Now, don't worry if you don't see anything at first. This is because the swatched items don't have a size yet. Simply toggle Show Text or add a size to your swatch elements to see them appear. If you still don't see anything, make sure you've set up your attributes in the WooCommerce Attribute menu or check our documentation for help setting this up. Let's add some border radius. And there we have it. Our first variable swatch is created. You'll want to rinse and repeat for the different attribute types, which are now select, button, and finally, image. The repeater block now also supports various dynamic sources such as related blocks and cross cells, which are useful in many cases to convert and increase user interactions and purchases. While this is only a quick overview, I do recommend to take a look and use the ready-made designs by Araminta that are available in the Quickly Cloud Design Library. We will be adding more as time goes by. Don't hesitate to use these designs as learning and starting points and also integrating them in your own design system. Please don't hesitate to check our documentation that goes into further detail on WooCommerce attributes, the card context, building a mini card from scratch, as well as a detailed look on variable swatches. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know down below or on our forum. All links are in the description. I can't wait to see what you come up with, as here at Quickly, we believe that this is the beginning of a very powerful adventure. Thank you for your continued support and appreciation of Quickly. See you in the next one.